Hello everybody, welcome back. This is your tropical update for September 8th. We're currently watching Category 1 Hurricane K, probably just an hour or so away from landfall in Baja, California. Category 2 Hurricane Earl located to the southeast, uh, really just due south at this point from Bermuda. Uh, Post-tropical cyclone Danielle, which we won't talk about much, invest 95L in an area of interest. Let's get into it. First Category 1 Hurricane K, as you can see here, making its way very close to landfall now on the Baja California Peninsula. We are expecting hurricane force winds as a result hurricane warnings and watches are in effect for portions of Baja as well as a tropical storm warning for almost all of Baja California. They just removed part of the warning for the southern tip as well as portions of mainland western Mexico down to Guayamas. Uh, again winds currently 80 miles an hour. The storm is weakening as you can tell from the tropical storm force wind uh, rival map here. The purple area is rather small and begins to decrease with time. We could see tropical storm force winds as well as a little bit of rain in Southern California and Arizona and that could lead to flooding. That amount of rain is unusual even though it's just a few inches in that area. Again, going to decrease in strength and pull away from land after landfall. Post-tropical cyclone Danielle looking like an extra tropical cyclone. As we can see it has that comma shape. Doesn't look like a hurricane anymore and therefore is not. Uh, winds will then make its way towards the, uh, the Iberian Peninsula, but really the main deal with this one at this point is high seas in the vicinity of the storm. Category 2 Hurricane Earl looking huge today, and it is huge. Um, a, a very massive tropical cyclone, a uh, very large hurricane, also producing an area of uh, high seas. And uh, we could also see this storm intensify further into perhaps a Category 3 hurricane, maybe even a Category 4 hurricane watch as well as tropical storm warning in effect for the island of Bermuda, where it will continue past Bermuda, not making landfall on it though, uh, and then become an extra tropical cyclone and a large one at that. The wind's currently 105, peak winds estimated to reach around 120 miles an hour from the hurricane center. Uh, but it could, of course, reach higher than that, as you see on this graphic here. So again, a lot to uh, find out exactly how strong Earl gets, but we'll see with time. Invest 95L, uh, as you can see here, its center of rotation is all the way over here, uh, and all the convection is far away from it. And as a result, uh, it can't be a tropical cyclone. So uh, hurricane center still have a 70% chance of formation. The winds is 45, 40 to 45 miles an hour, according to the hurricane center. Um, so again, it has the winds. It's just that it's not aligned. Uh, and so it can't be a tropical cyclone. And so it's not. Um, and so we wait to see if it becomes one. It's not guaranteed. The area of interest behind it also not guaranteed 30% chance of formation within the next five days. We'll see what happens with that one. As we can see on the impact map, slight condition, slight risk in effect for Bermuda, where we could see some strong uh, tropical storm force winds. Hurricane force winds possible over the portions of the Baja, as well as tropical storm force winds throughout all of Baja. Uh, and again, uh, tropical storm force winds possible as far inland as parts of western Mexico. Arguably, uh, portions of western Mexico should be green there, not blue, but that's what I decided to go with. Um, so there you go. And I also didn't change the date. Oh, well, um, the European ensembles, again, a touch off the coast from Baja, California with that one. Earl gets decently strong as well as, uh, the development of Invest 95L mostly agreed upon as well as the wave behind that and the wave behind that one. And GFS is not very bullish on either of those waves, but a decent amount of support for the formation of 95L. Again, the way it's looking right now, I'm not confident on that. Uh, Category 2 Hurricane Earl again making its way past Bermuda without making landfall, but still significant impacts. And K making landfall and then moving its way off and weakening with time uh, over Baja, California. Didn't change this in slide at all, but that's fine. The, the basic uh, thing is still here. I do want to note uh, that Her Majesty the Queen has died uh, for those who didn't know for some reason yet. Um, so she has died, and so eternal rest grant unto her, O oh Lord. And also I wanted to say um, how fitting it is that uh, perhaps um, her heavenly birthday is the earthly birthday of Our Lady, uh, the Queen of both heaven and earth. So um, cool little thing that 
maybe happen. So um, anyways, that's all for now. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow with the next Truffle Update. Chris Dixon and Further, Catholic Week.